Hi, I'm in my studio. Uh, I've been working on a paint series. If you've been following me on Instagram, you've seen some of the progression shots of this. And I've gotten to the point where I have maybe anywhere from eight to 10 layers of paint on these. Um, they're, they're getting some really nice depth. And my normal practice is to come downstairs. I usually make myself have this little teapot and I make myself like a nice pot of tea. I bring it downstairs and I just lay out my palette, make my wet palette. And that's an earlier video. And I just begin to paint. I just put a painting up and what will, what will I do next? What will I do next? And I've started this new practice. I've made myself a little sketchbook, artwork review sketchbook. So this is when I get to that point where my paintings are moving forward. There's several layers. There's definitely, you know, fair amount of depth and there's some interesting parts. There's parts that I like, parts that I will surely paint over. Um, but rather than getting right to the paintbrush, I just sit with each painting for um, a little period of time and I've drawn uh, you know, a little square, and then like the elements of the painting. And then I write notes to myself on the side. So things like, um, you know, most of this painting is in mid value. I need to add some dark tones and some light tints. Um, there are four shapes that are very similar in size. So, you know, I'm going to want to add variety and either enlarge or reduce some of the sections. Um, things like add white because um, making the, just the right white by adding tiny smidges of your color palette. It's kind of like when you go to the paint store and you see all the whites on the board. Some of them are warmer or cooler or whatever, but if you add a little bit of the paint colors that you're using, it reads as white, but it's a very harmonizing white. Um, I wrote things in here like, you know, I have one that has stripes from drips of paint, you know, veil a portion of these because I don't need to see the whole thing. I want to, I want there to be a little mystery in the painting. Um, reduce this area, add a pattern here, right? Because if it's totally random all the time, I do like pattern. I don't like it to be predominantly pattern, but I do like to add pattern to things. Um, reduce this dark area because it is similar in size to other areas in the painting. And just by observing, like here's the one that I have behind me. I actually, when I drew this, I had like two sort of oval sections of uh, very pale yellow and then slightly darker. And I made it one large circle, which you see behind me. Um, and you know, I made notes to myself, get rid of this secondary blob, let it be about the white. Um, the darker blue is in three places, but in varying amounts. So that's good, right? We want variety. Um, but just by taking the time, what I did, you know, after taking, I don't know, <clears throat> took me an hour or so, um, after taking that time to review my work, when I dove back into it, I had more direction, let's say. And by the time I was done with that painting session, I had moved them much farther forward by investing a little bit of time prior to laying out my palette. It's just a studio practice. Um, if it helps you, great. Um, and keep an eye out because my paintings will be Moving forward, I'm hoping to have them in my June featured artist show, and I will be showing you guys the progression as I get closer and closer to that date. Okay, thanks so much for visiting. Have a great day. Feel free to subscribe if you want to see more uh, studio practices, tips, um, techniques, and uh, keep up with what's going on in my studio. Have a great day.